Welcome to another Megadyne Mega Power Electrosurgical Unit instructional video. In this video, we'll show how to do a power output test using a Fluke QA DS2. I'll let you know when to hit record. Never mind. Make sure the power cord is in good condition and not frayed. Snugly plug the power cord into the machine and the other end into the wall. Make sure the outlet that you plug into is grounded. Power the QA ES2 and let the firmware boot. Once the firmware is booted, you may begin setting up for the power output test. Install the patient return lead into the ESU. The lead receptacles are located on the right side of the QAES2. Install the patient return lead into the common receptacle. Plug the active test lead into the appropriate monopolar receptacle. Then plug the opposite end of the active test lead into the load receptacle. You may now power the ESU. Refer to page 26 of the ESU user's manual for the appropriate power and resistance settings. Apply the referenced settings. In this case, PureCut has been selected with a power setting of 300. Press F2 to scroll through the knob parameters. Rotate the knob to adjust the selected parameter. In this case, the rated load is 300 ohms. Press the enter key to finalize your selection. Press F3 to start the test. Activate the connected ESU function and observe the test results. Also note that the RF detect LED lights when the test is active. To perform bipolar testing, you should first remove the patient return electrode from the QAES2. Insert the common lead into the bipolar receptacle. Remove the active lead from the monopolar receptacle and insert into the bipolar receptacle. Insert the common lead into the common receptacle of the QAES2. Again, refer to page 26 of the ESU's operator's manual for test settings. Input power and resistance settings and begin the test. Press the bipolar foot switch and observe the test results. This concludes the power output test. 